Alright everybody, next call a minute from Most Sports Center TV. We got Bobby Daughter, owner of SS Greenlight Racing. Bobby, how are you doing today? Real good. Alright, so how did you get your start in racing? I was very fortunate that um, my dad was a three time ARCA champion and he raced his whole life, so I was around it my whole life. And when I got old enough to start driving, I started uh, racing myself and did that until I got in my 40s and then. Just uh, decided to move to the ownership side of it and go, uh, you know, start putting younger drivers in and stuff, try to be a team owner. All right, so did you work with any other NASCAR teams before you became the owner? Oh, yeah, I've been involved with a number of different efforts and mostly um, from the point of that I was either the driver for the other teams or that, you know, I did, there was a stint for about four years that I crew chiefed. All right, who did you crew chief for? Um, the boy is not in racing right now. Uh, he ran some nationwide mat. Uh, Sammy Potashnik was his name, and we um, ran the West Coast, actually Winston West, and went out there and did real well. And it was uh, we went to Japan and raced. It was a lot of fun. All right. So, um, what teams did you drive for? What teams have I drove for? Yeah. Well, start, early in my career, I was drove, drove for the team Mark Martin when he won the championship in ASA in the Midwest, and then he moved to the uh, uh, Grand National Series. I was able to get the ride that he had before that with uh, Jerry Gunderman and Miller Beer as sponsor, so that was a premier ride. And then there was a team uh, called Team R Racing, and they were the first team to have the, the wall tools for a sponsor, and I drove uh, Bush Series for them for like three years. All right. Um, how did you, when you started? What year did you start owning the team? Um, well, officially, probably in the truck series and at the level we're at in 2000. Okay. And how do you get the name SS Greenlight? We were um, Greenlight Racing, and I took on a partner, and his team was called SS Racing. So we just put the two together. And how do you get the name Greenlight? How do you, is there a significance behind that, or you just think of it? The gentleman that um, that was my first partner when we first started was from drag racing, so that's where the green light came from, and like a you know taking off for green light. All right. So, um, who was the first driver that um, that drove for you? God, we've had probably a hundred of them or whatever over the course of the thing. When I finally got out of the seat as the, the primary driver, um, we had Tim Sauter, Johnny Sauter's brother. He was one of our first drivers. All right. So where do you see yourself in 10 years with this race team? Well, you know, the sponsorship side of this has gotten so difficult that it's uh, very, very hard right now to maintain running a team and trying to find the funding for it. So, I mean, I'd like to think that, you know, we'd still be doing trucks and be winning championships instead of just running, you know, I think our best finish in the overall standings for the year has ever been ninth and 10th. One year, our two trucks finished ninth and 10th, and that was the first of the best we've ever done. Hmm. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Do what? Thank, thank you for joining me on the show. Well, thank you for having me. All right. That's Bob, Bobby Daughter, owner of SS Greenlight Racing.